Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on database for beginners. And in the previous episode, we have successfully uh, learned how to create alter or drop database, create alter and drop tables and insert update and delete uh, data in those tables. And in this episode, we will learn how to select uh, the data using where keyword. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So first of all, we'll need to open our SQL Server Management Studio since we are using uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2014 as our database. So I'll just click on this icon and it will open our SQL Server database. And here we will be connecting our database engine using local server name. So just click on connect and uh, let's uh, expand our databases and here is our simple database we have been working on this simple database so i'll just expand it and let's expand tables as well so here we have a tbl user table so let's see the data here i'll click i just right click on that tbl user table and i'll just click and select top thousand rows so here we have two data uh, that were worked on previous tutorials uh, but uh, for this tutorial and upcoming tutorial I will create a new table and insert data on uh, those that table and we'll be working with that table. So let's create a new table and if you don't know how to create a table in database then please uh, check the episode number 3 where we learned how to uh, create alter or drop tables so for this tutorial i will uh, use gui to create the table so i'll just click uh, right click on tables click on new and then table and here we will give the column name so the first one will be id so let's give id data type int okay and uh, second one will be a name and it will be barcal and we need to keep the uh, length of the data for backer so it will be 50 it's okay it's minimum so it's minimum or uh, it's the recommended so i'll just use 50 for now and another one is address address can be longer and it will be it will also be a backer let's give it a length of 150 and third one will be age and age will be of integer Oh, here we have where binary, not where binary, where care. Where care. Int and the last one will be salary. Salary and it will be decimal. So let's see for decimal, where is decimal, decimal, decimal. I don't see a decimal. Here it is. So decimal 18, 0. Okay. That's okay. Okay. No worries. And we need to make this ID as a primary key. So I'll just go. Uh, to the row header of this id and here right click here and set as primary key and we need to make it as an auto increment as well so select the id and go down here in column properties and here we need to search for is identity so let's identity identity specification so just expand it and in is identity I'll just double click here and it will change to yes that's it so we have made it as a primary key and and auto increment so let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's keep uh, this table's name as tbl underscore employee so that's it let's save it uh, by pressing ok and this is our table so this let's just right click on tables and where it refresh click on refresh and here we have tbl employee so i'll just close this and close this as well and let's uh, click on new query it will bring us a new a new window where we can write a query so here i will just display the table so select all asterisk means all from tbl underscore tbl employee okay let's select it and execute 
so this is our table id name address age and salary and we do not have any uh, values till now but i will quickly add a bunch of data in this employee table and you also do the same uh, just add a uh, random data uh, around 5 to 10 employees details and let's we'll be, we'll be back then okay so i'll just go to here and right click on table employee and edit top 200 rows and it will bring new uh, window and here i'll add names vz katmandu is is 25 salary let's give me as 40,000 and another one will be Vikram let's give him it will be Pokhara he is also 25 years old let's give him 60,000 and another one is Ram Kathmandu uh, 23 salary let's give him also 40,000 and then because let's give him uh, Gorkha 24 and 1000 and the one is uh, zone from America let's give him, he is 30 years old and let's give him 50,000 and here let's give Mac this is a random name okay Australia 50 let's give him 80,000 rupees and let's add another one Harry oh, Harry or Harry Kathmandu and then he is also 20 and he earns 20 thousand Paul from India let's give him India and let's give him uh, 47 and 55,000 and then Kumar from Kathmandu and let's give him 50 and let's give a salary of 32,000 so that's it so guys i have added a list of employees in my tpl employee so i'll just select it and run execute and here i have uh, nine employees from bj bikram ram because zone mac harry paul and kumar and they have uh, different add addresses some have uh the same address as well and their age and here is their salary now here uh, using the asterisk command we have displayed the list of whole uh, employees but now what if i uh, want to know the detail of a specific employee and in that condition we can use uh, where keyword so let's use uh, where keyword select all this will display all the column like id name address age and salary from from tbl underscore employee p l o y a e where id is equals to one so this will uh, give me the detail of the employee whose id is one so let's select it and execute it and here it is it gives the idea of user whose id is one similarly we can change to id is equal to six and let's run it execute and it gives the uh, detail of user whose id is six similarly we can also uh, find the detail of employees uh, who have same address like select asterisk from tbl underscore employee where address is equals to and since uh, the address is a packer we need to give a quote single quote and inside the quote we can uh, write the address which is 
Kathmandu. Select actually from TBL employee where address is equals to Kathmandu. Select it and execute it and it gives the detail of all the employees whose address is Kathmandu. Similarly, you can also check with Pokhara. Select it, execute it. That's it. We have only one uh, employee whose address is Pokhara. And similarly, you can also check with uh, age. Let's I'll just copy this, copy and paste it here. And here I'll go with age. And since age is an integer, we don't need code. So I'll go with 25. So age equals to 25. Select it, execute it. And there are two employees whose age is 25. Similarly, we can also go with uh, greater than, less than, is, is not equal to operators uh, we have only used is equal to let's go with uh, greater than operator so i'll go with select asterisk from tbl underscore employee where salary let's say is greater than fifty thousand so we will find the list of employees whose salary is greater than fifty thousand so let's select it and execute it so there are one, two, three, four. There are four employees whose salary is greater than fifty thousand, and let's also find whose salary is seventy thousand. Select it, execute it, and there are only two employees whose salary is more than seventy thousand. Is it? Yeah, this was a five lakhs. I thought it was a fifty thousand, but it become five lakhs or five hundred thousand. So there are John and Mac, America and Australia. They are from big countries they are international employees so they have huge salaries uh, just for the this tutorial guys and then similarly we can also use is not is equals to let's select uh, all the employees uh, whose address is not Kathmandu we'll select all the employees uh, who are not living in Kathmandu so let's select it select asterisk from tbl underscore employee where address is not is equals to let's say Kathmandu so I'll select this and execute it so it gives uh, the detail of all the employees whose address is not Kathmandu like Pokhara, Gorkha, America, Australia, India but not Kathmandu similarly you can also add another location like Pokhara Select it, execute it, and it will give the detail of all the employees whose address is not Pokhara. So that's it, guys. We have uh, used the where keyword in our select query with is equals to op operator and then greater than operator is not equal to op operator. You can also use is not equal to or uh, less than operator uh, to use select keyword and where keyword to select the data for a specific user so that's it for this tutorial and in the next tutorial uh, i will show you how you can go further with uh, select query using limit keyword and distinct keyword so thanks so much for watching if you have any confusion related to this tutorial then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible and if you like this video and also think uh, this can be helpful for someone you know then don't forget to like, share and subscribe and stay safe. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye.